Namaste. How's everybody doing? Did you miss me, Zen Zebras? Unique unicorns. As promised, I'm just going to pull a few cards for the collective. I didn't forget about cancer, moon children. It's late. Uh, it was a big painting day, which made me happy. Um, I have a couple of things to say off the record, but first I'm just going to do um, two angel cards and two unicorn cards for my unicorns out there. For my merry mermaids and my zen zebras. Spirit guides, what can you tell us? For the collective. Thank you. Hope my music isn't too loud. What can you tell us for the collective spirit guides? This was supposed to be an art gallery. Um, but I decided to do art gallery time when everything is kind of dry. I do have stuff that's up, but um, I just felt like doing this right now. Well, it's on 12.41, so it's pretty early for me. Collective, thank you. Spirit guides. Open and receptive to receiving some messages for my 12 astrological signs out there. If it resonates, take it. If it doesn't resonate, leave it there. Thank you. Gotta put the old glasses on. So the first one I got is this one, okay, beautiful, it's creative project, okay, let me just take you because I don't have you on my stand right now, I have you in my little stand, and um, the little stand shows the chin, so yes, I am vain, although I have no makeup on except a red lip. Anyhow, some of you out there are involved in a creative project, including me. Okay. Uh, your soul longs for, longs to express itself in creative ways. We're guiding you to infuse artistry and creativity into your life. Creative expression makes you feel alive and excited and reignites your passion towards your life. That's nice. I opened this can like a week ago and it's still here. That's pretty bad. Okay. Well, it's just salsa, so it doesn't hurt. Okay, so... Um, that's really self-explanatory. Some people have started projects, they stop them, Mercury's in retrograde, so it is very hard on us. Um, some of us are involved in trying to figure out murder cases, you know, that takes a toll. Um, and I think the whole world feels like in shock. Um, I don't think it's just me. Anyhow... When Mercury is finished with being in retrograde, I think it's July 9th, but then we're going into Cancer into some other planet, which I'll talk about. I'm almost finished with the uh, Cancer reading, um, which will be put out, well, actually, uh, after my art video that I should be done with my cancer reading, but I'm not going to put any pressure on myself because it's 4th of July weekend, but who knows? I'm not really doing anything besides making potato salad. Okay, so the next card that I got for the collective, Sassy Subs, is there is nothing to worry about. Oh, we need this card. 
that looks like Jesus, well, or it's an angel, or it looks like Archangel Michael, um, holding a dove, and holding something else in the other hand. Anyhow, um, there is nothing to worry about. You are safe. In this situation, is under perfect control of divine providence. I like that. And the universe and universal order. Remember, everything's always in divine time, not our time frame. Not we want it yesterday. Um, God's time frame. And it's hard to have patience. Only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure that the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly, effortlessly, I'm sorry, effortlessly to and through you. Okay, so basically, let me just tell you my interpretation of that card. It's very beautiful. Um, we have to stop putting time frames on things, but do think of, the, of a beautiful outcome. If you're worried about something or you're trying to get a job or you're trying to get a project going, don't think about, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna run out of money, I'm gonna run out of creativity, I'm gonna run out of passion, or my health is no good. Think happy thoughts. Think about, I'm going to get that job done. I'm going to get that, you know, great opportunity. Um, people are going to recognize my efforts. I'm going to be complimented, and this is what I hear. Um, write it down. Uh, a lot of times it's hard to uh, positive self-talk yourself. Um, and I don't I know it. Um, and so it's much easier, you think it's much easier to say, you know, what a jerk I am, or I really messed that one up, what an epic fail, okay? These are all phrases that come out of this one's mouth, so I know this. Um, and you never really, I mean, I do j joke around because I like to be self-effacing um, and to say it before anybody else says it, but... However, it is not good. Um, you should do positive self-taught talk to yourself. Like, yes, you know what? I'm going to tackle that project and I'm going to get it done. And you know what? I'm going to write down five things and maybe I'll only get two things done. But if you didn't write down five things, you would have never got anything done. So write down five things that you really want to focus on. Um, even if it's just I have to read 10 pages out of a book or 10 pages online for a project. Um, whatever it is, I have to call some people because I had fights with them and I want to let, I want to make up with them or I want to say I'm sorry. Write it down on your list of just five things, five important things. Okay. Dusting and cleaning could be on that list. But <laughs> if you were to die tomorrow, would it really be important if you cleaned your toilet? Okay. I don't think so. All right. Anyhow, I'm being silly now. But that's me. Okay, so let me take one more card from the, um, these are the angel cards. I'm going to take one more angel card, then we're going to do um, three unicorn cards for you guys. Then I'm going to have a little chat. Sorry about my voice, but my throat is like, I have that problem where it feels like it's being strangled. Because it is but I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, we are not gonna worry about it. Okay, guides and angels, what do we have to tell the collective on a Friday night? What do we have to tell the collective on a Friday night? This whole week was a bust for me, except for today I woke up, of course, late. Um, and I had my usual um, quarter of nightmares uh, in, in my nightmares um, upon waking was my ex-husband <laughs> um, and I couldn't understand why he was there because I, my dream was that I was at some kind of building um, looking into some uh, um, summer's missing case, summer moon 
Bob's missing case. And he was there, and I was like, what are you doing here? But then I remembered he was a court officer. Um, and so maybe he had something to do with the courts. I don't know if that was a good sign or not. But I kept telling him he said he was going to drive me home. And I said, you know we don't live together anymore, right? You know I'm married to somebody else. And he was like, yeah, I know that, of course. But I'm going to stay here until you finished. And I was like, that's weird. I'm very, like, shocked. I was, like, surprised we got along in this dream slash nightmare. Um, and then I woke up. And I felt like, I, should I tell Devin about that? And I was like, nah, it's not good. I'm not a morning person, even though my morning was 11.30 or 11.55. So I just said, let me just get up and have coffee. And just forget about whatever that dream meant. So, but I could picture the house. It looks a little bit like my son's house in Pennsylvania. One of his houses. Because he has four. Okay. Um, anyhow. So, sorry. What do, what do we need to know, angels and spirit guides? What do we need to know for the collective? What would you like me to tell my collective, my sassy subs, my supercalifragilis subs? And my dog is driving me nuts today. My older dog, Nana. She's already been let out like three times. So I'm just going to ignore her until she really pisses me off. Anyhow, what do we need to tell our sassy subs? Oh, that's beautiful. Trustworthy guidance. Look at this. Okay. You've received a wonderful idea as an answer to your prayers. This idea is real and trustworthy. You can safely move forward with it, knowing that we are with you every step of the way. Ask for and be open to receiving support for anything that you need related to this idea. Okay. So this is like, reach out. You you have your angels watch. Look at this angel. He's working on something, and she, she is right over his shoulder watching. So if two of these cards were about a project, yeah, and the angels want you to know, you can move forward, and if you feel like you're stuck, please ask for help. Even help people in, the, in on earth but also your spirit guides want to help you and I'm going to kick that dog's butt okay not really all right you gotta come with me This is going to be one of those times that I get interrupted a million times. I think the last time I was on, on the air was with my wig. Yeah, lavender wig for my readings for summer. <sighs> yeah. Okay, so. Now let me just take a... I'm, I'm sure I'm going to have to get up again to get the dog back in. She can't stay out forever, so 
I'll probably leave you here and go, and then I'll come back. Okay, so I got from my unicorn cards. Are these my unicorn cards? Which cards are these? These are also my angel cards. I'm sorry. See, I got distracted from my dog. All right. Angels. Please let us know what we need to know for the sassy subs for the collective. Thank you, dear God. Thank you, angels. Thank you, spirit guides. We're open and receptive to receiving messages. Oh, wow. Anger. It's weird because I have this. This, um, that I was going to do a canvas with. And then I couldn't. Because I did a lot. I did one, two, three. At least six new canvases. Oh, seven. Seven or eight. Anyway, I'll show you that another time. Um, this says, look how small this is, look how small, okay, safely express your anger, safely express your anger, sorry about the pimples and stuff, I didn't put any makeup on, um, use anger as a positive force, honor all your emotions, Okay, so what I'm getting from this is there's a lot of people that are angry, including this one over here. Okay, <laughs> just ignore me. All right, um, no, but really, when you have anger, it's an emotion just like love. Um, you're upset about something, somebody treat, mistreated you, or somebody didn't say the right thing, or somebody did not address your feelings, um, or your boss ignored you, or didn't give you the raise, whatever it is. Um, you matter. So you need to express that. And um, when you're really, really angry and you want to curse somebody out, that's not the time to do it. Okay? Write down your feelings, get it out, and then address it. Do not let people walk all over you. Whether you address it by your silence, um, if that's okay with you, um, that's fine. Um, or whether you, you know, call the person up or talk to somebody about it that's you know that could be a, a good way also and hold on a second because I gotta go get that brat in Jeez Louise. Well, there you 
you are. I am so sorry. A thousand apologies. Okay. So, this is the anger card. So this is saying that somebody is angry. Um, maybe many people are angry, angry and you feel upset. Don't hold in the emotions. Okay. You have to have an outlet for them. If you don't feel comfortable expressing yourself to that person that hurt you right away, if you're not, you know, you don't feel like expressing it to them, then write it down, write them a letter, write them a text, or, and don't send it, okay? Write, write them a letter, and then reread it when you're not as angry, when you're not as upset, and then say, do I really want to send this, okay? Or do I just want to give that person my silence, okay? Take away your sugar from that person, whatever it is, okay? Anyhow, express that anger um, because it's not good if you keep it inside. If you keep it inside, you'll get a headache, you'll get a migraine, you'll get aches and pains in your body, you'll get a stomach ache, you'll get, um, you won't be able to go to the bathroom correctly, you won't be able to sleep. Um, it depends on, you know, how upset you are. So it's better to express it some way, shape, or form. Okay? Okay? They want you to take action. Is that another? Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, I gotta get the old glasses. I should get a magnifying, a magnifying glass. Oops. Sneak preview. <laughs> okay, let me put you down. All right. What are we listening to? We are listening to happiness frequency, serotonin, dopamine. Uh, we all need a little of that, don't we? I know I do. Okay. So take action. The unicorns are saying now is the perfect time to act. Take inspired action towards your dreams. So it's a lot of stuff with creativity, creative energy, uh, new jobs or new things that you want to start. Um, move forward with confidence. Okay. Angels are always with you. Angels are always going to be with you. Okay. One more from the back deck. Spirit guides. Give us another unicorn card. The collective. a lot of green painting today um so heart chakra flow find an easier path forwards surrender the outcome release your expectations oh i so needed this myself okay forget about what the outcome is supposed to be forget about like that goal of i just saw um 250,000. I don't know what that means. Um, but forget about that outcome. Surrender the outcome and just know that your guides will get you wherever you need to go. God will get you wherever you need to be. Um, and just move forward. It's saying, believe in your expectations, but don't have the expectations. Don't put too many expectations because that's pressure. It's like when I know I have to, you know. Those dogs, that you know, it's, it's like it goes on forever. I let them out of their cages so that they can walk around and stretch their legs. 
and because she wakes him up all the time anyway so this is saying go with the flow of the universe more um, so find an easier path forwards surrender the outcome release your expectations okay yeah so I screwed that one up um, don't have the expectations release your expectations don't worry how you're gonna get there just start working towards it all right don't worry about where am I gonna get the money for, to go to school where am I gonna get the money for the bills just start moving forward and think about think about um, wow I'm gonna have that house that I want or that new apartment or that new part-time job or part-time business or re new relationship Start thinking about it in a positive way. Don't worry about how you're going to get there. But you can't get there if you want a new relationship. Love, those of you out there looking for a relationship or wondering if it'll ever happen. You're not going to get there by staying in your house or apartment or condo. Okay? Saying, I'll just wish somebody here. Okay? It could happen, but um, you gotta you got to take yourself you know, into different positions and places that you enjoy going um, and, and manifest it that way. Okay. All right. Now, let me just get my cards mixed up. Somebody's eating something in there. I didn't leave anything out for them to eat, so the eating time is over for them. They think it's snack time every minute. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I, I am going to um, shuffle these cards to, to see what my who my angels. God help me. God help me. God help them. Come with me. I'm going to see who the angels and my guides want, which sign they want me to focus on. So get in bed. Get in bed. Get in bed. In. Two meatballs. Good boy. Good boy. Go to sleep. I know she woke you up. In. In. I didn't give you any snacks. It's too late for snacks, okay? Good boy. You're being not not a good girl today. All right, go to sleep. Enough. Mommy has a video to do. Go to sleep. Jeez Louise. <sighs> Sorry. Are you still with me? One day I was doing a video. Jeez, I need a sip. I was doing a video. And I had my iPad on as usual. And I was like doing my little jokes or whatever. And I felt like nobody was there. I wasn't doing a live or anything. But I just felt like everybody was gone and not laughing at my jokes or getting me. Um, and I was like, is anybody out there? Am I alone? I'm always alone. Is anybody out there? And my iPad all of a sudden went off from the music and a commercial came on and said, you are not alone. You are always with somebody. You are not alone. See, signs are all around us. Angels are always trying to give us signs. Okay, so now I'm asking the cards before I'm interrupted by my dogs again. Um, and it's not the boy. It's not my boy dog. It's the it's Nana, the thirteen year old, the senior citizen dog. Um, it's not the puppy, um, because she just thinks that every time she does this horrible bark, then I'm gonna come running, let her out. She really doesn't want to go out. She just wants to get a snack or attention and get out of her her cage. And a lot of times I let her out, but she wakes him up on purpose. Anyhow, sorry, you don't care about my dog problems. All right, so I just want to ask the angels and spirit guides who, which 
which sign, which astrological sign do you want me to focus on uh, a message? Thank you. Leo. Wow. I haven't talked about Leo in a long time. I don't even think I have any Leo subs. Um, expressive, creative, loving, playful, warm, overt, self-confident, flirtatious, glowing, bedazzling, extroverted, vital, guileless, egotistical, juicy, proud, trusting, and excessive. Spirit guides, what's the message for Leos? give a pope on a perfect love and or friendship. It's all about relationships for Leo. I feel like the career is set not not that that's going to be right for everybody but in general the guides are saying don't give up on don't settle for less. A lot of Leos are just so loyal that they're like, okay, I guess I got to stay with this guy or this girl because, um, you know, that's what I'm supposed to do. Um, but if it's not working and you can't stand that person, uh, you got to do something about it. Okay. That's my message. And then I also got the seventh house. I don't really understand the houses. I just really generally know about the signs. Um, Partners, companionship, best friends, marriage, what was I just talking about? Relationships, opposition, equilibrium, sharing, communion, justice, balance, and social awareness. Look what the picture looks like. Okay, so yeah, so I'm getting for Leo that the message has to do with relationships. <laughs> Your family is your blood, is your blood, okay? You can't get rid of that. But if you're in a relationship with somebody and it's not jiving, you got to fix it or you got to go through the steps of trying to fix it. Just can't just accept it, okay, Leo? Because then when you're complaining and you're upset about something and you're complaining, uh, you're not really doing anything to fix that problem. 